Fortnite Season 4's recently released Chapter 3 included new spots to the map, necessitating the rediscovery of an old perspective system. Everyone knows it is best to avoid landing at tilted towers or rocky reels since, barring perfect timing and luck, you will almost certainly perish among the first few people to arrive there. In this video, we will discuss 8 Best Season 4 Fortnite Drop Spots. The video will be amazing, so stick to the end. Before starting the video, smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 8. House Next to Chunker Speedway A home near Chunker Speedway continues in the vein of dangerous territory. It is easier to see by zooming in on the map, but once you do, you will see your target. A great location to start when assembling shields, healing supplies, and at least somewhat practical weaponry is a house. Additionally, since the speedway is immediately nearby, you may quickly go there and make your getaway there in a car after. When playing on zero builds, there is also some coverage and many walls you may use to hide. Although it isn't the safest landing spot, it has advantages. Number 7. The Lighthouse The Lighthouse, situated right next to Sleepy Sound, has been a charming little retreat since Chapter 2. For many reasons, it's a terrific site to land. A sniper or DMR can take aim from the lighthouse's top perch. A large area containing chests, guns, shields, and other items is on one side of the lighthouse, while a zipline is on the opposite side in case things start to go south. You might also be among the first to land because the warbust is once more perched on the opposite side of the map, depending on which side it arrives from. Number 6. The Wraith Cave Although it will never be possible to duplicate the sensation of arriving at the Wraith Cave for the first time, you can still take advantage of the structure to give yourself a significant edge in the game's later phases. Knowing the cave's layout, entrances, where treasures frequently appear, where any NPCs might be, and all of the finest hiding spots can help you make the most of this. Players don't frequently drop at this spot anymore because the initial excitement surrounding the cave has subsided providing you with the ideal opportunity to drop there yourself. Number 5. Lustrous Lagoon Even if going to Lustrous Lagoon initially seems like a bad idea, it can give you a significant advantage if you're lucky. If you can think of it, it's here, whatever you want. In addition, there is a fair amount of cover provided by the nearby river and the steep cliffs, which can be used for hiding. Even though the lagoon is crowded, you should still go there later in the game, even if you decide to land somewhere else. Number 4. Edge of the map near Greasy Grove Surprise! Another map landmark is present. This time, one is close to Greasy Grove. You'll be the first to get all the loot because the specific island is difficult to locate, and it's doubtful that you'll find it without making a trip there. Near the coast, you can find many barrels, chests, and occasionally weapons that are well worth picking up despite their scarcity and commonness. Searching here will only take you a short distance to Greasy Groove and the Reality Tree, which tend to get less crowded as the number of players decreases. Number 3. Reality Tree The Reality Tree varies significantly from match to match, making it difficult to predict whether or not it will be very active. You might land in this spot five times in a row, with hardly anybody else landing, yet the next game, you might get knocked down by a group of five players. Landing here is usually risky, but you have room to move around and conceal, thanks to the vastness of the area and the high trees. There are always a lot of chests here, so you'll also find some great loot. Number 2. Bridge next to Shifty Shafts The whiplash that typically spawns there is this landing spot's most prominent feature. Once you've finished plundering, you'll want a getaway vehicle. Start at the bottom and make your way to the top since chests, slurp barrels, guns, and ammunition will be scattered along the bridge. If you hear another player approaching, you might crouch down inside the bridge and prepare your weapon. You'll benefit from being able to move invisibly because it's tough to tell if somebody is already there. Additionally, you have easy access to the neighboring landmarks and a reliable escape strategy because the bridge is just above the river. Number 1. Structures near Fort Jonasi. There is an absurd amount of stuff and excellent cover around Fort Jonasi. It is the perfect site to land because it is tucked away, surrounded by dense foliage, and is close to two enormous landmarks. Because this particular portion of the map appears to be empty, everyone else who lands there will go closer to those two landmarks. 
Shields frequently drop here, and there are tiny wooden houses similar to those seen by the sea near Cunny Crossroads. Although you probably have the most incredible weaponry at these locations, you'll still have enough to get started, maintain your fortifications, and avoid moving too far to escape the storm's reach. This was all for today. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay safe, and we will be right back soon with another video. For more information, subscribe and watch other videos from our channel.